Hello friends, I'm Karina Chin with KarinaStamps.com and I want to welcome you today to my Facebook Live and my YouTube Live. Um, I'm in Edmonton, Alberta and I've been demonstrating a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for about 15 years and I'm still loving it. It's getting closer to 16 and I don't know where the time goes. It keeps flying by. So I'm going to share some really, really fun cards with you today using the brand new Taco Fiesta stamp set. One is going to be a waterfall card. So if you stick around, I'll show you how to do that. It's kind of fun. And um, yeah, I'll actually show you a few cards done with Taco Fiesta because it's only a $26 stamp set and I think it's super fun. And I like the fact that the stamp has little eyes that you can put on all your little critters or we have a celebration stamp set right now that's a carrot and I think the carrot needs to have little eyes on it. So I thought that would be super fun. Okay, so before we start today, I like to just quickly mention that if you uh, wanted to order anything, you can go to karinachin.stampinup.net and the specials are if you order $60 from me or the Taco Fiesta or the Taco Fiesta stamp set, I'll send you some of the cards that you can make that I'm sharing today. And two, I have a Taco Fiesta party coming up. It's going to be a virtual class that is going to be on March 21st. It's going to be four cards and it's $35 and includes a stamp set. So if you live in Canada, you can join me there. Or I have an in-person Taco Fiesta class that's on March 17th at my friend's house. So that one is $40, but it includes food. Doesn't include the stamp set, but a whole bunch of other fun things. And if you're ordering, you can use the hostess code. This hostess code is good for a month now. And if you want these cards, your order must be placed by next Monday, which uh, I don't even know the date, February something, whatever the Monday is. But isn't that fun? And if you're on YouTube, uh, just make sure you say hi and you can hit the notification bell uh, to follow my channel and it should tell you when my live videos are. I'm always Tuesday at one o'clock and if you're tuning in going, oh my gosh, why is this woman talking so much? It's so that my friends can jump on. It always takes a while to get the stream up. So, you know, I blab for a few seconds just to see who's here. And then I see Gail's here. Hello, Gail. Thank you. And Kathy's here and Natalie's here too. Thanks girls for letting me know that the stream is working because you just never know, right? Let's just see if this is working. I think so. Yes, Karen's here as well and Margaret Ann. Okay, you guys, thanks. I can get started now. This is fantastic. And if you're watching the replay, just make sure that you leave me a comment as well because I know Tuesdays at one isn't the best for people, but it's sort of when I can commit to coming on. So that's the time that I decided to share with everybody. Okay, so I got a few quick announcements going on. So Stampin' Up! has a sale called Celebration going on. Whenever you order $60, you get a free gift from this catalog. And if you order $120, you get a level two gift from this catalog. Um, and this goes on till the end of February. If for some reason that you were interested in getting a starter kit, they have a starter kit special. Um, this one, you get a baby boho blue mini machine. It's $175 plus $225 in product. So that's really exciting. Um, or if you don't need a mini machine, but you want to get a starter kit number, it's $135 and you still get $225 in product and you don't pay shipping or GST on that. So that is like a huge deal and then you get to be part of our crafting crew team so we're going to stamp this friday we stamp on the first friday of every month and i send out a pdf tutorial and people who want i will cut your kits for you they are uh five dollars next month it's going to be ten though because we're using memories and more cards just a heads up but this is one of the cards so this uses dainty delight which is a brand new celebration paper pack that you could get for free with a $60 order. So I thought these cards were fun. This is a accordion card. But yeah, so these are the cards that we're going to be making this Friday. So if you want to join us, you can go grab yourself um, a starter kit and I'll send you a kit in the mail. And you're probably wondering, what is this starter kit? It just means that you're placing your own orders and then you get a 20% discount off your orders. When you do the work yourself, you get a discount. That's the only real difference between that and being a customer. Uh, so it's easy. You don't have to do classes. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. But you do have to place your own orders. 
and and save money so that's sort of why i joined up i needed the 20 percent discount because i buy a lot of stamps a lot of stamps so like i said i'm going on 16 years and it's super fun because we have such a great community of stampers okay you're probably thinking okay i've talked long enough so let's go down here to my desktop and the reason why I shared this is my friend said, hey, let's have a Taco Fiesta in-person class. Well, I'm like, you know what? That is an awesome idea. And then she sent me this card. So Sharon, this is the card that Sharon made. And I just thought, oh my gosh, it's super cute. I think it's inspired by something off of Pinterest. So I didn't make this, but look how adorable it is. And look at all the cute little facial expressions that you can put on every single little taco image. Now, I think that is just super fun. And I love playful things. They had a paper pumpkin a few, was it two years ago? And they had like eggs and bacon that had all the little faces on it. That was super fun too. So when I saw this, I said, oh, I got to get this. This is just too fun. So this is one of the cards that we're going to make. The other ones I'll have to show you, but I will show you how to do the waterfall one right now. And then I've got this one started. And then I've also got this one started. So I'll make three cards for you. Um, and the waterfall card is really fun. So I've been doing videos for a long, long time. And my YouTube channel is Karina's Creations. It's all small cap, no space, because when I set it up, I really didn't think about having to change it in the future. But I've got videos in there that go a long ways back and a lot of them are not lives. So I put measurements for cards. So I just went in, searched waterfall card and I saw this really old video and it even had a color tip top taupe, which was a brown in my video. I didn't even know that we had that. So that was super fun as well. And hold on, we need puppy snacks for Otto because he's already here. Okay, Otto, take that and go, please. Otto is my 10 month year old mini schnauzer and I'm bribing him right now. So he'll be a good boy because he's eating all my He's wrecking my craft room right now. He's being very mischievous today. Okay, are you guys ready to start stamping? Oh, the other thing I forgot. Oh my gosh, you guys. Celebration Extravaganza starts tomorrow. So I'm opening another 60 spots for Celebration Extravaganza. They are $10 each and I'm doing the draws next Tuesday. So if you missed out in January's, February's is open. Um, 20 of the spots are already gone. So there's 40 spots left. So send me a message on how many spots you want. And then we'll do the draw in my Karina's Creations Facebook group. Karina's Creations also has a Facebook group. So join in if you want. It's super fun. And I'm only doing one group. So not two draws, just one draw. So let me know if you want to take part of that. And also Stampin' Up! is coming up with a brand new products week tomorrow that if you have a demo number, we can pre-order. I saw a sneak peek of it, but all the details are coming up February 1st. So if you are on my team or have a demo number, check um, check the Stampin' Up! website or I'll be putting the information in our, in our crafting crew group. Okay, I think I've talked enough. I'm ready to go. So waterfall card. This is what you need. Now, all my projects are done based on this free paper pack that I got with the $120 order. And it is a level two, uh, level two free paper pack called Dandy Designs. And you get 48 sheets of this gorgeous paper. Look at all these great colors, fun designs. That's what I'm using on my Taco Fiesta class. And that's where I got this paper from. So the first thing you need to do is cut a card base. That's five and a half inches by eight and a half in. Oh no, I lied, hold on. Let's just put all my pieces here. It's four and a quarter inches by 11. And we're just gonna fold that in half. So I've already made my base. Okay, and the next thing that I did is I added a black mat on here. I'm not gonna do it with this one. I don't know if we need it. You tell me if you think that it needed the black mat after I'm done. Now, don't glue this down yet because we need to pop this up with dimensionals. So then you're going to have a piece that is, oh, oh, I'm missing a piece that is three quarters of an inch by four inches. Okay, let's see if I have some cardstock. So let's just cut this one. What did I say it was? Three quarters of an inch by four inches. I guess I could use 
I could use the DSP. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Okay, by four inches. So this is going to be our piece that kind of holds the waterfall section onto the card. Okay, you guys ready for this one? So grab your paper trimmer and get a piece of cardstock that is two inches by nine inches. And we are going to score that in four different places. We're going to score that at two inches. So I'll just line it up here. Two inches, two and three quarter inches, three and a half, and four and a quarter. So what this does is this gives you a two inch section at the front and then half an inch thereafter. So you have one, two, three, four panels. And then you need to cut yourself some basic white. You need four of these that are one and three quarters by one and three quarters. And then you need a black matting piece that's two by two. Okay, and then with this piece, you are going to fold it over like this. And I need to punch a hole in here because I need to put a little piece of ribbon or something that will allow me to pull my waterfall. Isn't that fun? So you have these happy little avocados, a happy little taco with a mustache, a hot little pepper, and this one that says you're not your average friend, right? Isn't that just fun? I don't know. This card just makes me happy. And I'm just going to punch a hole with my hole punch, a handheld hole punch. I actually have a crocodile. This thing is huge. I have a black Stampin' Up! one. I just don't know where it is. Stampin' Up! no longer sells them, but we used to. Uh, Stampin' Up! has tools that stick around for a couple of years. So if there's ever a Stampin' Up! tool you think you want and you think, ah, I'll get it later, don't do that. Make sure you get it. Get it while you can. And then I'm using this uh, gingham ribbon. So I think it's $9.75 in the catalog. It's very reasonable compared to the other ribbons. So go buy 10 of these. And you can make lots of Taco Fiesta cards. Okay, so I'm just going to tie this. You can tie a bow, but I don't know. Do you guys like tying bows? I do not like tying bows. Okay, so let's go like this. Just give this a little trim with my paper snips. I see Otto Monster Puppy is coming this way. And he's already snuffling in my stuff. No snuffling, Otto. Go, go, go. Okay, so this is for the inside of the card. And the inside of the card, that's what this paper was for. I glued it into the bottom because it just looks pretty to do it that way. Do, have you guys made waterfall cards before? It's, I'm kind of bringing back some retro cards these days. This was one of the first WOW fancy fold cards that I made. And I just absolutely loved it. Okay, let's see if anybody has any questions. I think we're good. Yeah, Gail, have you made a lot of waterfall cards? I just thought this set really lends itself well to a waterfall card because you've got so many different images that you can choose from, right? Like, look, you spice up my life. You're not your average friend. Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Long time, no taco. Oh, I need to send this out. Spectacular, like seriously cute. So this was designed by a US demo, Erica Serwin, and I think it was her million dollar stamp set. So I had to laugh because my daughter said to me, mom, when you hit a million dollars, can you ask Stampin' Up! to make like a dim sum or a dumpling stamp set? And I had to laugh because I just hit this year 500,000 CSV, so that's like 600 Canadian. But to get to a million, I think I calculated it out. I'm going to be really old, like really old. So I just have to ask Stampin' Up! to make a dumpling set without me because that just made me smile when she said that. She's so cute. Anyway, let's get back to making the card. So this is going to be our anchor piece but we need it to be able to slide in the middle. So you don't want to stick it down. So I found the best way to do this was uh, we're going to glue this down. You know what? Let's actually, let's stamp our pieces first. Okay, so I did a little bit of stamping just because I thought, you know, we're short on time. So here's my little avocado guy. I should have had this cut for you guys. Apologies, but... The morning got away from me again. I just don't know where time flies. So I've still got some celebration prizes from people 
who were in the last draw in January. So they're ready to go, ready to be picked up. If you need them mailed, just let me know. I mailed a bunch last week. And like I said, the crafting crew kits are ready to be picked up as well. Okay, we'll just go like that. See, that doesn't take long. Okay, we've got two little avocado friends. One's got a little Mexican hat on. Or I guess it's a sombrero. I apologize. I didn't mean to call it a call it what I did. I think it's the official word is a sombrero, maybe. I don't know. Hey, look how cute he is. Oh my goodness. That's just, you know, that just makes me happy. Okay, so let's just glue that on here. And then the next one that we're going to do, I've already got my little chili pepper done. So let's just glue that on my black square. Okay, and then I've got Mr. Taco. So my friend went and did a whole bunch of these for me. So I just had to stamp my face on. So thank you, Sharon. I dropped something off at her house and she's like, take these. I'm like, really? That's awesome. That just makes me happy. Because you know, the taco's cute. But when you put the face on it, how adorable is that? Right? All tacos should have fun little faces on them. Way too fun. Okay, so I'm going to put this one down here. So let's just go like this. We'll just add a bit of green glue. I'm just centering it. There's no really right or wrong way to make this card. So let's just put that down like that. So I've got my panels. I've got my three, one, two, three panels. There's my sentiment already stamped. And the color that I'm using is real red, uh, granny apple green and mango melody. So I'm going to use a light mango melody. Mango melody is not a color I use very often, but I like it. It's, you know, a little bit of an orangier tinge than our daffodil delight. It's a really pretty color. And when I see this, it makes me want to eat some tacos. Oh my goodness, I love tacos. Yum, yum, yum. And then we'll just add some highlights. Ooh, I colored outside of the lines. Oh well. I think it'll be okay. Just don't tell anybody. They probably won't even notice. Right? You can always fix up your cards. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this down here your nacho average, average friend and then i can put happy birthday in the inside maybe i could do a gift card to a taco restaurant yum 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 okay so let's put this together now now what you need to do is that your very bottom waterfall piece which is going to be my sentiment goes on the bottom square and you're going to glue down the whole thing okay so i'm going to add adhesive over the full back of my black square and I challenge you to make the waterfall card I haven't I don't make them that often but boy when people don't stamp and they get one especially kids they love pulling these interactive cards you know you can use tear and tape adhesive or green glue if you want but I'm adding it on the next section and then I'll put my I think I put my hot little chili pepper right there and you're going right under the score line because you need it to bend okay and then i'll add my next little bit of adhesive and then um, i want my little guacamole avocado friends to be at the top so i think this one is going to be mr taco with his mustache you know too funny and then this last panel is going to be my little guacamole friends because this is my friend card. Okay, there we go. Oh, I hear I hear unauthorized puppy munching. Otto, come. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I got some puppy kibbles, so I think I'm good. Oh, yeah, that was bad. He was into something. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Now what I'm going to do is this part does not get glued down onto your anchor piece. It's this part. Okay, so I'm going to add, I don't know, about half an inch down here. And again, you can use tear and tape adhesive. I am centering it right here on this panel. 
and this needs to slide underneath and can you see how it's going to move Ooh, isn't that cool and then what i need to do is put this down onto my dsp so i'm kind of centering it you know i want the same amount of space above my waterfall mechanism as i do at the bottom so once i have that in place i have a um, I have a little piece of sponge somewhere. Let's see what's in my little, let's see what's in my little kit. Oh, I don't know where my sponge is. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it, you guys. Really, if you're making a lot of these, you'd probably take a pencil and make a pencil mark, measure it out to make sure it's even. But that's not how I roll. I just kind of go like this and go, oh, that looks pretty good, right? Put one there. Oh, this one looks pretty good too. Let's put one here. Because all my cards are handmade. They're not supposed to be perfect. They're just made with love. And then I've got these great little round and square brads. So I'm going to use the square ones. And then what I'm going to do is anchor this onto my designer series paper. And then we'll just spread the little metal ends apart. Okay, let's get this one in. There we go. And then we'll do this one. Yeah, I don't know. Puppies, I worked all morning, so Puppy's not happy with me. He's showing me that he can just eat my stuff whenever he wants. Okay, anybody else have a puppy around this age? It's uh, very challenging. Okay, what do you think? Cute? See, isn't that adorable? And then all you do is you put it on the card base. So I am just going to use, I kind of wish I had my regular Stampin' Dimensionals. I want one of the bigger ones, but I don't know where they are right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a whole bunch of these little mini ones. So start with them at four at the four corners. One, two, three, four. To dumb. Okay, we'll flick that off. Flick these away. Don't you love this take your pick tool? All my nails broke, so I'm starting from scratch again. Oh, that really stuck where I didn't want it. Okay, and let's just peel these back. And I think we need two more. And make sure you use the sides of these, right? Because look, there's a big one right there. Okay, here we go. And then I'm just going to, let's just pick and flick, pick and flick the backings off. Uh, it's easier when it's little. Oh, that's already got the backing off. Okay, here we go. So we're just going to put this on there. And there is my waterfall card. Isn't that adorable? And then we have these really cool matte black dots that you could add to this. Looks like mine is slightly crooked. You know what, I'll just give it to a friend and she won't even notice. What do you think? Okay, and then what I did on this one is you can then go and stamp another little face on your taco and cut it out if you want to step it up just a little bit okay so that is my first card what do you think of that thumbs up oh let's see oh i see cindy's here kathy's here do you love this kathy yeah it is just fun oh good kath or cindy just ordered the stamp set yeah i just think it's so fun and if you have kids i think they'd have a lot of fun making it too Okay, now I'm just going to finish off this card. So this is a fairly easy one. Um, this is a fairly easy one because I'm just using up pieces from Christmas. So my, my niece was here at Christmas and she doesn't stamp. But I said, hey, would you, you know, stamp me some pieces? I wanted to make a couple Taco Fiesta cards. And so she did a couple images and I thought, you know what, let's finish up her card that she started. And then what I have is I have a gingham, I emboss this piece of basic white cardstock with the gingham embossing folder. And we'll just put that on here. This is fast stamping, right guys? And then I've taken real red and I've stamped the little, I don't know, confetti images on there. So I think that's gonna go like that. I think I'm gonna go like this. Okay, and we're just going to add this edge. I just wanted a little hint of black showing. 
Okay, I have to see what's going on here because I hear pa paper ripping. Oh, no. I have to show you guys what's happened. Look what he did to my envelope box. It's not a mouse. It's my dog. Seriously. Oh, he's super cute, though. It's a good thing puppies are cute. So I don't know if anybody has a puffy, you're probably laughing right now. But yeah, he's a, he's a bit of a handful. And you can't blame him, right? Because I'm doing cards and he's going, Mommy, play with me, play with me. So he might get kicked out. We'll see. Door may close to the craft room. Okay, so I got that element on. And if you're wondering what, uh, what elements I'm using or the sizes, I don't know. I just grabbed some scrap pieces together. To me, this looks like probably one and three quarters, maybe. That's just going in the middle. We're just going to put this holy guacamole. It's your birthday. And then we'll put the little guacamole down. So how's that for a super fast card? Pretty cute, right? So you can just make so many. And there's tons of ideas on Pinterest as well. Oh, well, what have we got going here? Okay. That one is not very good. I find sometimes they pull off the backing from the sheet. And I don't know why that is. Okay, here we go. Here's this one. Now I could leave it like this, but I wanted a little guacamole. So what do I need? Some garden green. And the stamping blends are $12 each. So to do this class, like I said, you need garden green, real red, and mango melody you can have gray if you want for the pit or maybe well, what other color would work um maybe a soft suede for the pit of the avocado i used the base no i used what did i use smoky slate i think see look isn't that cute but these elements right you could just keep going i could you know keep playing with this I started making the waterfall card at nine o'clock and I had a hard time putting it down because I'm like, ooh, we could do this. Oh, we could do this. It's so much fun. My only complaint about this set is where are the dyes stamping up? I don't want a fussy cut. I want to use my new baby boho blue stamping cut in a boss machine. But then I have another friend and she goes, oh, Krina, it's not that hard to cut out elements. And you know what? She's right. It's not. But I'm just going to say, why would I want to? If I don't have to, why would I want to? Okay, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. And then, like I said, you can add a little bit of the ribbon. If you're making a set of cards, I like to pull it all together with some kind of an embellishment. And I personally love just a little bit of ribbon, nothing too much. And we'll just add that on. And then I'll show you my last card. And I have Auto Super Puppy supervising me right now. Sometimes if you if I'm on a Zoom, his little face will appear in the video. He's right by my elbow. But yeah, he likes to put his two puppy paws on the counter and stick his nose over to see what he can eat. Well, I should have moved that up a bit. You know what? I'm just going to stick that there. Looks a little random, but that's okay. So then I'll get my glue dots. But not bad, right? Just using scrap papers little pieces and little scrap papers. And then she also did these two elements for me, but I haven't uh, figured out what I want to do with them yet. But I thought they're just so darn cute. Okay, so there's holy guacamole. It's your birthday. And then I'm going to finish my last card. Now this, this card will not be in the class, but I did my class last night with the Greatest Journey stamp set. And I did a video for this type of card last week. So I wanted to, I had to show the girls how to cut it. So I thought, you know what, let's turn this into a taco fiesta card. And I want to show you these fun letters. I think these are super cool. They are in the catalog. Uh, and I think they're $48, $58 called Alphabet Alamode. In the catalog, this is where you can find taco fiesta. What do you think of these samples? Honestly, I look at them and went, I don't need this set because they're not bright enough. They don't, you know, get my attention. Whereas something like this, I go, oh my gosh, this is adorable. 
So I like the samples, I just don't like the colors. And I think it pairs really well with this Alphabet Alamode, which is also in the mini catalog. And then what I did is I went and cut out the words happy and I used our adhesive sheet. So I should be able to peel and stick them. So let's see, wish me luck. Okay, so I've already cut this. Like I said, you can watch my video from last week. It's kind of a flip flap fold card. Um, it, they're not that hard to do. Once you do a couple of them, they're pretty easy. You just need a really good paper trimmer. If you don't have a paper trimmer, um, get the Stampin' Up! one. I highly recommend it. Okay, out of there. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Out of there. Thank you. Okay, there we go. And we need one more panel. And I've embossed this with one of my favorite embossing folders, but I can never remember the name of it. I have no clue what the name of it is. Um, yeah, no clue, but it's super cool though. Okay, and I've already done this panel. So I think with this panel, I should have two panels. There we go. Um, I wanted it to say, uh, you, oh, it could be, I think you spice up my life. Happy birthday. Or holy guacamole, it's your birthday, your nacho. Oh, I don't know. Spec, no, I'm going to do spectacular. Let's put that on the bottom. And then when you flip it around, it's going to say, happy birthday. Okay, so let's get this on a block. And of course, I love the Stampin' Up! blocks. You can actually get a set right now. And I recommend if you like sets, uh, get it now because it is on... It is celebration and get yourself a case. Okay, mine's really old. Really, really old. Hey, isn't that cute? You spice up my life. Oh, I wanted spectacular. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, this will also work. Okay, and I want happy and I need birthday. So I rooted around my little stamp and stash to see where the birthday would be. And I just got Queen B in. Did anybody buy this one? Okay, I need the birthday image because I need to say happy and then birthday. So let's go like that. Can you see how I'm assembling this if you're new? These ones are the red rubber stamps. The other kind that I'm using um, are photopolymer, so they're clear. Well, they're not called red rubber. I think they're called cling mount because you put the label on and then you attach the foam part of the stamp on here. And um, this is what you get. Okay, let's just put this on here. Now, oh, I wanted birthday after all that. So happy birthday. Or what you can do is just, you know, grab this and not even put it on a block and hope for the best. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to put birthday on here now. Ooh, this is going to be scary. What if I can't stamp without the label? I never do this. I always have to have a label on because I find that very confusing. Okay, so if I put happy here, I think I'm going to stamp birthday at the bottom. And I'm going to do it right now in black in case it's all crooked and looking not so nice. I can easily fix it. Okay, I'm good with that. Now, these are the stickers I talked about. So I went and bought and it went and got my adhesive sheet and you attach your adhesive sheet to your designer series paper and you roll it through your machine using the dies. And then you can just peel off the backing and it's now a sticker. So you don't have to use your glue. So I love that. Okay, let's do happy. There we go. How am I doing for time? Ooh, not bad, right? Ooh, someone's helping himself to snacks. My bribe is running out. Okay, so happy. There we go. PPY. We're happy. It's a good day. The sun is shining in Edmonton, Alberta. I could actually walk him without puppy boots today, so it's got to be 
I don't know, what is it, minus 12? Does anybody know what the temperature is today in Edmonton? Okay, let's see. Almost done. Happy. Look how cute these letters are, though, right? And I love that they're die cut. But really, make sure if you're getting these that you order the adhesive sheets. They're in the annual catalog. I had a whole bunch of them, but I couldn't find mine. So I'm using these old, old ones, which aren't as good. Okay, happy birthday. You spice up my life. And then if I really wanted to, I could put like a little sombrero hat on. You know, something like that would work as well. So this is so fun. Let me know what you think of this. Otto, can I please have that? We'll see if he makes a trade. Sometimes if I say the word trade, he will trade. Okay, let's see if you can get that. Okay, what do you think, you guys? Do you love this card? I love this card. But I don't repeat cards that, that much in my classes. So since we just made this last night, we won't make it in the taco class. But look, isn't that fun? Now, it doesn't give you a lot of space to write because I kind of filled it up. But I could put hugs, Karina, put your person's name here. And I think I'm going to leave that because you still need some space to write. And so what happens is you have happy birthday, you spice up my life. Or you could have put, what was that other sentiment I was going for? You are spectacular. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so these are the cards I've made. We've made this one. We made holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Or how about holy guacamole, Krina's late with your birthday card. That's the kind of saying I need because I am behind now again. The waterfall card that says you're not show average friend. You guys can let me know if you think you need the black, a little bit of black peeking around the designer series paper. I think it does. I think it anchors it. I really, really do. Let's see if anybody has an opinion. Nope, they love that. You love these, Kathy? Oh, good. I'm so happy. Bella's here. Hello, Bella. Yeah, when's the last time that you made a waterfall card, Bella? Kim's here. Hello, Kim. Nice to see you. The waterfall card's your favorite, hey? Look at this one. I think this one's pretty awesome, too. Right? So one, two three, four, there's a nice set of cards. That would be a super fun class, except I don't think I would put this one. I'll just change this one up so it's not such a crazy fancy fold. This is great. It's not the best if you're a new stamper. It's a bit tricky. But then my friend said too, you could have this one, you know, just standing up like this. It doesn't even have to fold. Otherwise it's mountain, valley, and it goes like this. So I guess there's two ways you could do this card. It's kind of fun. Okay, so I think we need to do a draw. So like I said, if you place a $65 order, I'll send you for sure the three cards, which are these three in the mail as a thank you gift. And then you can also sign up for the virtual taco class. If you live in Edmonton, I would recommend coming to the in-person taco class because that's going to be fun as well. And I'm going to get out my wheeled side excuse me Otto let's just take this nice tag away I'm telling you this is like a puppy a puppy playground for him okay there we go so let's see who's still here if you're still here let me know and then I'll put your name into the draw the black does anchor it yeah Kim I I totally agree okay so we have Kim H is here now, Kim, if you win, I'll send you one of the taco cards because I can't technically send product to the States, but I can sure send you a card. Okay, return. And then we have Betty's here and Gail's here. Betty's here and Gail's here. And I see Lena is here. Welcome, Lena. Who else do we have today? Sharon and Cindy. Sharon and Cindy and does Otto need a door prize? No, he does not. And Kathy, I think, is here. Elnora has to watch the replay. 
I think you should still get your name in though, Elnora, because I know it's tough when you got to work. I apologize. I should be doing this late at night, but it just, I would never get that done. Okay, I think I'm good. And then I will just check. I got Bella's name in here. No, Bella, I missed you. Let's put in Bella. And then we have Karen watching on YouTube. Karen and I think Margaret Ann. Okay, Karen S. And Karen, I have your kit here to pick up for crafting crew. I have to get to you. Karen S. and Margaret Ann. Margaret Ann, you should have come in the mail or it's coming. Okay, I think I got everybody. I'm just checking. Perfect. Okay, you guys, I am going to spin the wheel. Last chance, last chance. And I've got some embellishments. Oh, Joanne's here too. Hold on, one more. And Joanne. Joanne. I'm missing the hyphen, but I know it's you. Okay, you guys, let's do a spin to see who the winner will be. And the winner is Kim H. Okay, Kim, let me know which. Oh, Betty, sorry, I jumped ahead. Betty won. Well, I think Kim H, I should still I should still send you a card in the middle because you were so close. Look how close it is with this wheel to side. Okay, so Betty was the official winner, and then Kim will get a card in the mail. So Betty, I'll let you pick from an embellishment. I have what do I have in my little stash? I brought a bunch of stuff when they were on sale, but you can let me know. I've got this one, or I've got this one. Either one, let me know. I love them both. I brought in my favorites and I want to thank you guys so much for watching me today and joining me. I hope I shared some good tips with the Taco Fiesta stamp set and I hope you'll play with it a little bit. It's super fun. And if you don't like tacos or like the set, you can still make the cards, but just substitute another set. Make sure you post it, share it with me. You can tag me Karina Chin so I can actually see your creation because i'd love to see what you guys make and i have a karina's creations private group for my friends and downline that's open to anybody who wants to join so you are welcome to join that as well so thank you so much for joining me today i hope you guys have a wonderful day and we will talk with you soon bye